Good evening, I'm Nora O'Donnell, and thank you for being with us. We begin tonight with a series of tense moments for a U.S. airline just as spring break travel is getting underway. With tens of millions of passengers expected to fly over the next six weeks, it's raising safety concerns for some travelers. The latest incident took place today at George Bush Intercontinental Airport in Houston when a United flight veered off the runway after landing. The nearly 170 people on board were forced to depart the plane using air stairs on the open runway after the plane ended up in the grass. Fortunately, no one was injured. It's the fourth such mishap involving a passenger jet this week alone, including yesterday's United flight that lost a wheel during takeoff. CBS's Roxana Saberi will start us off tonight. Oh my goodness, look at the back of the plane, man. United Airlines Flight 2477 rolled off the runway. It just shifted to the left, but I was kind of nervous, scared. I didn't know what was going on. Moments after landing at Houston's Bush Airport this morning, leaving skid marks and ending up stuck in the mud with its nose up in the air. Social media video shows passengers evacuating the Boeing 737 MAX 8 plane. Your adrenaline is now settling in, so now you're thinking about what actually happened and what could have happened. So um, try not to think about that because I'm a weekly flyer. 160 passengers and six crew members were on board the flight from Memphis. The incident comes as spring break travel season takes off, with United Airlines alone expecting more than 21 million passengers. It has been a turbulent week for air travel. On Monday, an engine on another United Boeing 737 burst into flames after bubble wrap was sucked into it. And yesterday, a wheel fell off another United plane after the Boeing 777 took off from San Francisco, damaging at least two cars on the ground. Also on Thursday, an American Airlines flight was pushing back in Miami when it clipped the tail of a parked Frontier jet. No one was injured in any of the incidents. Is flying getting any riskier in the United States? No, I don't think flying is any riskier now than it was two years ago. In fact, I think we have a very safe air transportation system in this country. Today's incident delayed passengers about four hours. The FAA and NTSB are investigating. United says it's also investigating and that it takes each safety event seriously. Nora? Roxana Saberi, thank you.